hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome my name is ccme and today i'm going to be showing you my menu for july which is my family timetable for the whole of july um a few weeks back a friend of mine reached out to me and she was like yeah see, you cannot be a food blogger and my friend and i still don't know what to cook in my house show me your timetable and i did realize that i wanted to do this video a while back but it just never happened you guys procrastination but i know you understand so today i'm going to show you what we're going to be eating the whole of july and i feel this is the perfect time especially as it's just the first week of july you can plan your menu and if you guys like like this video we might do it for august september october november december we might just keep doing it or switching up the meals so if you're interested keep watching don't forget to click the like button and subscribe let's get into it first things first i have my timetable my full timetable on my phone and I also have it in my kitchen I have a full timetable on my kitchen wall and I feel like it helps me out because anytime I go out I can always look back on my phone or open my phone and say okay we're eating dodo and beans for dinner as I'm coming back have I planted on the road or anybody in the kitchen can look out let's say especially my nanny she can look and say okay we're having beans for dinner she brings out the beans and we defrost it so it helps out that everybody has a copy of this full time table it makes life easy for all of us i feel like especially as women we spend so much time you guys so much time thinking about what to cook what to eat how to prep and all these things and it shouldn't be like we spend so much time cooking everything is just cooking sha and to think like, we'll do this forever and ever and ever so i just feel like it's better to simplify your life and i'm simplifying mine my timetable is very simple we have meals that we repeat we have a lot of like simple dishes to prepare because right now this time in my life is not the time to be expressive with cooking we're sticking to what we know and what works so you can decide what kind of meals your family loves based on what you guys like your weekly schedule or your daily schedule and you know what will be easy for you to prepare so let's start with monday for monday i have moi moi and oats for breakfast swallow and soup for lunch and spaghetti for dinner moi moi is something that i can easily buy i have someone around me that sells really good moi moi and it is fresh every day i don't have to stress myself we just buy this moi moi and then we have it with oats i love oats right now because it's healthy Helping me with breastfeeding increases my supply and everybody loves oats right now for lunch we're having swallow and soup it can be any kind of swallow it can be a bar it can be starch it can be pounded yam it can be amala it can be anything and with any kind of soup so that's very flexible for me but for the most part we make ogbono soup that's because my toddler loves ogbono soup it's kind of irresistible and i love ogbono as well so i mostly make ogbono soup and then for dinner it is spaghetti and this spaghetti does not have to be one kind of spaghetti there are different ways to make spaghetti jollof spaghetti stir fry spaghetti different ways so that's what we're having for monday for tuesday it is bread and egg this can be toast this can be sandwich it can be anything it can be agege bread but bread and egg so we know that on our way back maybe on monday we have to buy bread that we will eat for breakfast on tuesday it makes everything simple for lunch we're going to be having rice and curry right now tomatoes is very expensive so i skip stew a lot this time and we just go for curries because they are easy to make and they are so so delicious for dinner we're going to have a Having beans dodo and chicken wings um, then I go to the supermarket they already have chicken wings that they have already put a very nice rub on it it looks so yummy and it is quick to cook you put that in the oven beans that have already pre-cooked I just make a sauce and make beans too and then we fry dodo it's very easy for Wednesday again we're going to have moi moi and oats so like I said most of our breakfast are very repetitive and then I don't like to cook in the mornings so breakfast moi moi and oats again swallow and soup we eat eba or swallow like maybe three times in a week and then for dinner is ikokore and okodo so the thing is on tuesdays there's a market that's close to me that they come only on tuesdays so they sell things like water yam things that are difficult to find when you go to the general market so 
I buy what I am there on Tuesdays because I know Wednesdays for dinner is going to be kokore. If I can't find what I am, what I do is we make ukudo, especially right now that the weather is cold. So it's like pepper soup and yam. I have a recipe for ukudo on my channel if you're interested. So check it out. You can make ukudo with chicken, with goat meat, with fish, anything. It's always so delicious and my husband loves yam. So this recipe or this choice for dinner is always a win-win on thursday we have cereal for breakfast everybody can make cereal even tito can make cereal so that's just easy i don't have to think about it for lunch we have macaroni and then for dinner we have kekefia kekefia is on ripe plantain porridge um, i have a recipe on my channel it's very easy to put together most of my recipes on my timetable they are very easy to put together most of them are like one pot meals you don't have to stress put everything in one pot it's ready to go in like 30 minutes so yeah that's really easy to make and also very delicious very nutritious for fridays i feel like we can now relax you can go to school a bit late <laughs> fridays we have pancakes in the morning tito loves pancakes now he watches so many things and lately he's obsessed with pancakes so i said okay we'll be having pancakes for breakfast on friday friday is just the day to wind down so for lunch we're going to be having coconut rice i love coconut rice and i think we eat it a lot in this house um it's very easy to put together very very delicious and like i said right now we're skipping things like jollof rice too we are substituting them so we're gonna have coconut rice and then for dinner we have chicken and chips or chicken and potato wedges potatoes too they come in season sometimes especially irish potatoes so if we have them in season then we do chicken and chips depending on what is available on saturday we sleep in most of the time because everybody's tired from the busy week so most saturday mornings we spend it maybe going out to buy some stuff for the house and then there's somewhere we go we buy akara i can make akara but you know i'm simplifying my life you guys <laughs> on the way we buy the akara you can have the akara with pap if we're in a hurry we have it with bread buy like a gigi bread put the akara in the middle and make akara burger and that's always so delicious for lunch it is swallow and soup any soup that we've been eating for the week i have one soup for the week so any soup we eat it with swallow for dinner on saturdays we do pizza normally pizza would be so expensive but the pizza close to us they have a deal where it's like buy one get one free and this is just a good deal to pass up so saturday night we have pizza everybody can rest as you can see on saturdays i don't do a lot of cooking so for Sundays, we skip breakfast and we go straight to brunch because um, in my husband's family, they're from a Catholic home and they usually go to church very early. So by the time they come back, it's like maybe 11 and that's when they have the first meal of the day, which is usually brunch. So we have beans, eggs, vegetables, stew, corn, sausages, whatever they want to put inside shah, it's usually like a feast and I enjoy it now. In the beginning, I used to think it was weird eating yam on Sundays, especially in the afternoon, but I enjoy it now and we make it a family treat for Sundays. And that's what we have for brunch. It's usually so heavy, so by dinner time, we are not really hungry, but if we're hungry, we have rice. This could be jollof rice, this could be coconut rice, it can be any kind of rice, but just something that is nice and delicious and marks Sunday. So this is our timetable for the month. Um, sometimes I'm not home for even lunch or dinner, like maybe I have an event, so we will eat out. We are very flexible in this family. It does not have to be like home cooked meal every day compulsory. Sometimes we eat out, especially if we are not at home. I mean, what are you going to do? You are going to wait till you come back before you eat ever. No, we get something on the way to eat. I batch cook my meals. It makes it very easy for me. Something like beans. I know we're going to have beans twice in a week. So when I cook it once in the week, I cook it for in bulk basically but i don't cook it till the end if you've seen my beans recipe you know we have like stewed beans i cook the beans till it is tender i don't add salt or any seasoning and then on the day when we're ready to eat beans that's when i make the sauce and it's almost as good as a fresh another thing i batch cook especially when we have tomatoes in season is buy tomatoes boil it till the water is dried up and then put it in different containers in the freezer 
anytime we're making let's say jollof fries we're making stew we're making a quick sauce spaghetti that comes in handy like you don't have to start from scratch again also i buy beef in bulk maybe chicken in bulk you guys it helps me out so much because i boil it and i put them inside different containers if i want to make soup i just bring one container with the beef and the stock and put so many things together and soup is ready in like 30 minutes so those are the things i batch cook i also meal prep so stuff like let's say bell peppers cut them put them in a ziploc bag if we have carrots and stuff we cut them and put them in a ziploc bag also i love panda fish you guys smoked panda fish is like my favorite so i buy it hot and fresh debone them i buy it in bulk debone and then i put them in ziploc bags when i want to use them i use them for almost everything in beans coconut rice in soups i just put it and you don't have to now be meal prepping from the beginning for every meal i think it saves a lot of time so that's it i've shared with you guys my timetable for july if you guys like this video i might do another one for august just let me know this timetable helps to put me on track when i don't have this timetable you guys i am stressed out because sometimes by six o'clock i'm like what am i going to eat today and then is that time i start going to the market by the time i come back cook time is already 10 p.m so it's just a mess you need the timetable to be organized for everybody to know that so saturday this is what we're eating and everybody is on board if you like this video and i hope you like it please click the like button don't forget to subscribe if there's any meal you want me to include in my timetable a simple meal shall I don't have time for complication right now suggest it to me in the comments section and I just might include it in my next timetable I'll see you guys in my next video bye